Next stop, Haverhill, Mass., a former industrial powerhouse that in its prime turned out 10% of every shoe made in America. Look hard enough, you can still find a shoe. But it's the thriving art scene and a revitalized downtown putting this city back on the commuter map. Who better to talk about the Haverhill Renaissance than the city's mayor, James Fiorentini? Now in his record eighth term, I couldn't help but ask. You're kind of like the Tom Brady of uh, Haverhill. Oh, <laughs> you've been, That'll you've been get me enough elected me. and re-elected and re-elected many, many times now. Yeah, but I can't throw a football more than about five <laughs> yards. No one can compare to Tom Brady. He's the best. All right, so for outsiders looking to explore and come into Haverhill, why is the $10 weekend deal a good thing for people to take advantage of? Well, because you can get off the train and within a one block radius, you can go to 30 different restaurants. We have a small little artist district here. We're very proud of what we've put into the arts. Several murals here downtown. One mural just outside features some of Haverhill's more famous former residents, including TV's Tom Bergeron and rocker Rob Zombie. So we're here having tea today, but usually you hold coffees here. Well, I try to do five or six a year, and I invite people from different areas uh, to come down and meet me and tell me what their concerns were. Mayor Fiorentini knows firsthand the value of some good advice. As the grandchild of impoverished Italian immigrants who started the first downtown restaurant, it was a chat with his grandmother that first sparked Fiorentini's vision of what Haverhill should be. My grandmother said to me, Jimmy, we need another restaurant downtown. And I said, but no, no, the Italian word for grandmother. Well, it'll be competition. She said, no, Jimmy, that's what you want. If somebody comes down uh, to go to a restaurant and yours is too busy, they try the other one and vice versa. So I've always remembered that advice from my grandmother, and we've done it. Haverhill celebrates the contributions from people like Nana in the immigrants' mural located downtown. And you have a personal connection to this mural, don't you? I sure do. <laughs> okay. My grandfather is the fellow who was third over from the uh, right, second row up. That's amazing. So he was an immigrant here, now you're the mayor of the city. <laughs> you know, that's why I love America. It's a great story. Across the street, another mural with a story to tell. Brought to Haverhill by Haley Moschella and Sarah Lavasco, two women who operate a modern switchboard. The aptly named creative space bringing people together through art. The name of the switchboard comes from, we wanted to think of a name that really emulated connecting people. People need a space to show art, to buy art, to have conversations about original artwork, and they also need a place to have conversations with their community. To that goal, I'd say this four-story mural is quite a conversation starter. How long did it take the artists to do this? The project, dubbed Her Voice Carries, started in Rochester, New York, when artist Sarah C. Rutherford found local women and painted their images in opposing neighborhoods to empower and unite her divided city. So her voice carries comes from taking a woman's voice, somebody who lifts up the voices of others, and bringing her, continuing her story to somewhere else. Although it started in Rochester, New York, this is the first stop on the national tour. It's great that the artist, Sarah, is not just focusing on historical figures, but she's actually focusing on everyday women. What can you tell us about this woman up here? That's right, Shalinda represents not just one person, not just herself, but she represents the city of Rochester. She actually is um, part of an organization called Teen Empowerment, which actually started in Boston. So there's an interesting tie-in to sort of bring Shalinda here to Haverhill. This stop isn't the end of the line for this project. Next, a Haverhill woman will be selected to have her image painted in another city so that her voice will carry on.